Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. Okay, so now our Imperium is installed. We have configured uh, agent template and we have also configured the configuration groups. Now next step is to install the agents. Now there are multiple ways how you can install Imperium agent on the client machines. Um, you can manually just simply run the setup, provide the details and you can install. The only thing what you need is you need the password and encrypted format that I will also show how you can generate it. Other way is to run MSI command and use uh, it directly on the client machine and using MSI command you can provide the parameters and just do the silent installation or passive mode installation. Silent is it will not show any console anything but passive means it will show you the progress but will not require you to enter any credentials or any steps you need to manually do. And the other way is to basically use um, MST file transform file uh, which can be used to install an agent um, that transform file will have the communication parameters credentials and so on so and other thing which is the most appropriate way when you have many machines and you want to deploy it on a large number of machines pushing it through active directory uh, through MSI or using uh, your batch scripts um, can be a good option but today in today's tutorial what I am going to show you is just uh, installation using MSI XI and maybe upcoming tutorial I'll show you how you can create MST file and use a transform file to install the agent for now what we need is we need two major things first thing we need to get the MSI package uh, which is basically available in your Imperial installation configurator packages Metrix 42 UEM agent windows MSI and here you have your MSI file I have already copied it to my client machine so I don't need to copy it again other thing is you need to generate encrypted password which you can do by running this encrypt uh, m -encrypt, uh, m encrypt utility but you, to do that you need to use administration uh, powershell so what you are going to do is you can simply write alright and then if you type help you will see what are the options available in our case we are going to use AES 256 and as soon as I'll type my password and press enter it will generate and copy to my clipboard the encrypted format of the password so of course this is not actual password but I'm just entering a test password over here for example test at 123 is my password so it will see copy the encrypted password into my uh, clipboard this password will be required when we will be use uh, running the installation now let's switch back to our client machine so this is my client machine here I already have my agent package available so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the command prompt uh, sorry uh, PowerShell as administrator and in here what I'm going to do is I am this machine is a bit slow so bear with me okay now of course to run MSI exec this is the command which we need to run this is for installation now I need the file complete path so I can press shift and right click it will give me option to copy the path I will just paste this path over here next part is we have to provide the server 
connection details so our server is available over here I prefer to copy uh, rather than I type so this is my server and then next is user by the way this user is just for the communication uh, it does not need to, uh, need to be an administrator it's like authentication to the server in order to um, have the communication established so the user is just that around 42 agent and then next is our password which we we generated in that encrypt utility so I have my generated password over here which I am definitely going to hide this is an encrypted password but still I would hide it all right and after that um, we have different switches which we can use so uh, but bef before switches we have to use protocol protocol which is by default SMB later we can change it to HTTP HTTPS but for now we'll use SMB and then next what we are going to do is we are going to use switch for passive rather than silent and next switch is to no restart and then we will just press enter now we have to sit back and relax it will take few minutes it will install this with all the parameters and then agent will start communicating to our server if everything is correct if there is any of course typo any issues uh, and it is not able to communicate to the, your server then you would need to uninstall and reinstall because you cannot change the configuration of uh, server credentials and passwords and so on so now of course this is running and it will complete in few minutes as I said it takes like couple of minutes two to three minutes maximum it will get installed of course it will depend on your machine speed also once it gets installed you will see an agent kiosk running over here so let's wait for it wait for few seconds more uh, by the time it will get the kiosk running over here Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.